My name is Jeremy Cleeton. I'm with the City of Greenville, North Carolina, uh, Greenville Fire Rescue Department. I'm the Battalion Chief in the Logistics Division. We're here today with our uh, brand new fire engine, Enforcer. Uh, this will go in Station 7. Um, it's our new fire station that we just opened this week. Um, started staffing it on Monday. Um, this is a residential and a commercial uh, location in the south end of the city of Greenville. Uh, again, we're really excited to have this truck. I'm excited to have it and put it in service in the next month or so. Um, we mirrored the truck off of one of our current engines, Engine 1, as far as for the compartment space. Um, there are a lot of similarities. Now this is a stock unit. Um, we were fortunate enough um, that it was available. Uh, we just received funding for this truck um, on April 24th. And uh, thanks to our partners with the city management team, city council, and our partners at Public Works um, and our fire rescue department, we were able to form a committee, um, get everything that we needed together to make this pro uh, project happen. Um, and we're really excited to get it moving forward. Some of the features that we have, this is our first truck here on the blue line floor. Um, that implements our new um, departmental logo, and we have the Station 7 logo. All these logos were cre created by a committee um, of members of our department. Um, we also have our accreditation sticker. We implemented the typical graphics that we have along with the station logo and the department logo on the truck. Um, it does have a waterless pump, has the Husky foam system on the truck. Where, um, everything again, and we're mirroring a lot of the aspects of our engine one. So um, for sustainability and also transparency, that way equipment will be located in similar locations on this truck compared to other trucks. We have a few more features that are added in once we get home. Instead of the tool board. Uh, this will be where our saws and fans go. As you can see here on the back, we implemented the station logo on the back of the truck. Extinguishers, other equipment will go back here, ladders. Uh, we'll have high storage there for the hose. We'll have a complement of our other equipment to go in this truck. So again, a lot of the compartment space is designed similar to our engine one and our downtown station at station one. Um, again, just to make it easy, if you were assigned to engine one or engine seven, you would know where the location of the equipment is. Kind of makes it a whole lot easier on the fire ground. Um, the, one other new addition on this truck, being that it was a stock truck, it has a thousand gallons of water, which will be a benefit on the south end of, uh, of the city. We have some mutual aid response districts where they, our mutual aid departments, come to us or we go to them, so having that extra order on scene will definitely be beneficial to our department. Uh, we have implemented, like I said, the command zone similar to our other trucks. Um, inside the cab, we'll have our med vault for our narcotic storage. Uh, we'll also have EMS supplies, including our old monitor and any other EMS equipment stored into the uh, two storage compartments behind the driver's seat and the passenger seat. Uh, we are a uh, Fire and EMS department, we provide paramedic level EMS transport service, so we will have a full complement. This truck will run um, at the paramedic level. There will be a paramedic on every single day. Um, so that offers a benefit again to the citizens in the Station 7 district and beyond throughout the whole city of Greenville.